Alright, hello, and welcome to another Top 5 video. After my Top 5 Sparrow levels from the first game went down a treat, I thought it would be time to share my favourites from the second game. Which has hard challenges, much harder bosses, and even harder, um, horns. Oh, and it also has this. As always, these are my own personal opinions, so feel free to share your favourites in the comments. There are not really any bad levels in Spyro 2, well outside of the speedways that is. So if your favourites are not on this list, it doesn't mean I don't like them. With that being said, let's get into the countdown. Trouble narrowing it down to a top 5, eh? It was so hard to only include 5 levels, but just sneaking in is Breeze Harbour, which of course became infamous for the trouble with the trolley line that is uttered when you inevitably crash on the trolley challenge. Trouble with the trolley, eh? However, there is much more to this harbour themed level, like the battle between the land blubbers and the breeze builder birds. Sparrow's actually a bit of a double agent, as he works for the landlubbers in Zephyr. As for the challenges, I have grown to not mind the trolley section. I find the controls much more easier on Reignited, and the mind smash is a complete breeze. I love the almost steampunk feeling I get from the level with the flying ships, and fires that once lit will trigger different mechanics. Just watch out for anyone trying to piss on your barbecue. <laughs> in at number 4 is Cloud Temples, one of the later levels in the game. When I originally did a top 10 Sparrow levels video, this one actually came top of that list so it has actually gone down in my estimation since then. Maybe I got a little bit carried away back then. I still do enjoy the level though, don't get me wrong. But one of the reasons I used to love Cloud Temples was Agent Zero and Agent Zero's challenge. And no offence to the new voice actor that plays him in Reignited, but the voice is just a bit bland. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. The level is still really fun though and is comfortably in my top 5. Both challenges are quite straightforward and fun, although it can be annoying to get those silly flame balls to stay still. <laughs> in at number 3 is Huracos, a rainy industrial themed level. Not one that maybe wins on good looks. It is also home to potentially an inspiration for Ratchet and Clank, with these big guys with wrenches and wind up robots. I'll let you decide if it is an inspiration to Ratchet and Clank or just a coincidence. Again, both challenges in this level are ones I don't have many problems with. The gear grinders can take a long time to kill, and so long as you're good at gliding, the fans should prove no real issue. On a separate note, I came across this weird glitch when recording footage for this countdown. Not exactly sure what's happened there, but I hope Sparrow's okay. In at number 2 is Crystal Glacier. First of all, I always love the look of a snow themed level, and the reignited graphics really give me chills. In a good way, of course. So, whether you're flying through a cave, flaming draclets, or you're feeding George some fish, and oh my god, George, why is your head so big? Imagine having to drag that thing around. I'm surprised his neck hasn't snapped in half, which would be awful because George is adorable. Honestly, I could just spend hours walking around with George. He's just such a good boy. When is there going to be a George spin-off game? Because I would totally play that. <laughs> 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 
So here we go then. My favourite level in Spyro 2 Reignited is Idle Springs. This one has always been very high on my rankings and I was so happy it was my first experience of Reignited Trilogy back when I was able to play the demo for the first time at Eurogamer Expo 2018. I love that the enemies you fight are holding sausages and marshmallows. Just a small detail that gives me a giggle. Both the orb changes are fun, the level is beautiful and vibrant, what more could you ask for from a Spyro level? Just make sure you have the ability to swim before you enter the level. <clears throat> Thanks, money bags. So there we go. That was my quick little countdown for my favourite levels in Spyro 2. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts in the comments. But for now, take care and leave me alone. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs>